Hello from Nextfab Studios in Philadelphia. Right now I'm doing an experiment using a window motor, the unique window motor, a uh, 22 gauge and 26 gauge wire. Um, there's 200 turns each year. Uh, six neodymium magnets on the bottom that spin. Hooked up to our circuit here, which is just a basic little window motor circuit. And then it's charging up a 6 volt battery. Nice and basic. Now we got our two meters here. One's for the voltmeter of the battery. And then the other one is the amperage that will be going in to our battery. All these wires here all get mumble jumbled, but up here we have our oscilloscope, which is hooked up to the base and the uh, either the emitter or the collector of the transistor. And then here's our power source. We have DC power source where I can regulate the uh, amperage and the voltage. So let's see what happens when I fire up. So let's just set the current a little bit. Turn the voltage on. Start her off. And give her a spin. Now we're spinning. Fun little waveform starting off. Now let's get her up to speed though. Let me get her up to 12 volts as they recommended. Alright, we're at 12 volts. Should I get the right milliamps? 0.32 milliamps. We are at 400, 440, 438 hertz. Here's our wave, looking beautiful there. Set the division a little closer for you can see. So that's the transistor turning off and on. But when we get a little closer, that little spike there is where I'm interested at. Oh, it's beautiful. You can see. When it turns off, or when it turns on, you get this nice little oscillation there. It's just beautiful. So anyway, that's what that is. Now we're gonna take it down to our input. So our battery went from 6.35. We're at 6.86 volts, so we're charging the battery. It's putting in 0.112 uh, amps which is, input is approximately 0 0.3, I'll just change that right now, 0.3 amps, doesn't want to change, that's odd, <laughs> but uh, when the motor's running, and it's going, no lights on, on the circuit board, uh, 1.14 uh, amps going in, voltage went up very high. So there's no source of overunity or everything or anything here as some people think is going on. This is a very efficient way to uh, charge batteries and to do work. And I've heard rumor that you could put a mechanical load on this and you may actually, um, well you can actually turn the fan or yeah, do mechanical work with it, which is kind of fun. The more mechanical work we can do the better. Uh, as I do that. Our nice little oscilloscope reading changes. I'm just drawing it right now. Now I'm letting go. It's going back up. Cool. So now I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. I'm going to ramp it up real high and we'll see uh, what we get. Oh, it's beautiful. Listen to her hum. I just want to double step it up 24 volts oh yeah we're getting the noises now so we have uh, 0.56 milliamps going in our battery voltage at 7.46 volts 0.4 amps going in as well no lights on the thing this thing's going crazy yeah as you can see that nut does not want to stay on there but I eh, know where to go and our oscilloscope reading is just like it should be.
Um, these are at 5 volt division here. And yeah, so this is um, going way up. I can't even see the bottom of it actually. Yeah, it's 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 pretty massive. We're at uh, well above 24. And it just bounces way up there. So anyway, that's uh, what I'm messing around with right now. Um, yeah, kind of fun. So yeah, that's that's the Bedini. Cool ideas. If anyone else wants to uh, connect with me, uh, right now I'm in Philadelphia building a uh, different type of technology such as uh, bike powered generators for Occupy Wall Street movement using really efficient um, energy means like bifiler coils and jewel ringers and whatnot. And um, this is just an interesting thing that a friend gave me. I just want to check it out. Yeah, so hit me up anytime. We can communicate. I've just recently been activated to do this. So, uh, yeah, the time's now, man. It's finally time. Alright, guys, just into the test. Waited about uh, 10 minutes after. So, what I'm showing is the voltage. 10 minutes after remaining, no amperage going in. We're at 6.5, 6.3 volts. That's pretty cool. So, uh, fun little circuit. Went from. Uh, Six point uh, started off, you know, pretty low voltage, somewhere around six point three volts. Now went up to uh, you know, pretty high, so that's fun. Um, it's not over unity though. Everyone keeps saying things are over unity. This is not over unity. It's just a really efficient way to do mechanical load while also charging a battery. Um, people are looking into doing like things like uh, jewel ringers and whatnot, which I think is a brilliant idea using feedback. But, um, you know, more on that to come. Um, right now, um, I'm currently uh, doing work on multiple things. And one thing I think would be fun is to take um, Ed's work, where, you know, you take a U-bar magnet, put two coils on there, and you can have it align the, di the dipoles, and then you can just disconnect the power and have that still and then incorporate that with a jewel ringer circuit and uh... you know see the effects and also to cut one of these toroids in half separate them with an insulating material so it would be like a capacitor but also a transformer at the same time and uh... see the effects because i've seen some interesting things happening um... you know the power of now and just how things are happening so fast in these all different aspects and we're getting really close to over unity. If not, we're already there. But for now, I don't have it, so I'm still working on it. And if anyone else wants to work with me or uh, any interested ideas who want to collaborate, um, I know some interesting people now who are working on really cool Tesla towers, you know, using tri-filers and different ways to wind wires, and people over in California who are building actual starships. So hit me up. Um, leave comments, call me up, email me, let's get a hold, let's uh, start working, and uh, yeah, let's, let's keep it going, guys. So uh, this is Eco Power Future, signing out, and I uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday season. Peace.